This is uh, Allie <laughs> Wagner, who's giving strawberries this morning. In Vista. Vista. Good morning, Allie. Good morning. Yes, you guys, we were talking all about the Strawberry Festival. I know you guys ate some strawberries, but we've got the biggest strawberry here in Vista. I mean, that... that <laughs> That in itself is entertaining right there, you guys. But we are talking about how amazing this is going to be. It's going on on Sunday, yes, Brett? Yeah, that's right, Sunday morning. And uh, we're going to have 450 uh, street fair vendors. We're going to have a 10K, a 5K. We're going to have piping contests. We're going to have carnival rides, a beer garden. We're going to have it all going on. And I think that it is just so much fun from the crack of dawn. I've been here before, and it is like you can just kind of feel the energy. And it's so great for the local businesses up here as well. It is great because we get about 100,000 people who descend on the downtown and get to see everything that, that Vista is all about. We have all kinds of kids from the schools who, who come and participate and the kids run and the carnival rides and it's a great it's a great community event. I love that and I have Dr. Ash who is here from Tri-City Medical and American Heart Association and we are talking about healthy choices. So strawberries are a healthy choice. Strawberries are a much healthy choice than some of the other products that are out there right now so yes absolutely and there's going to be a lot of strawberries here with proud to be part of a partnership with uh, uh, with Vista and with the Tri-City Medical Center and the American Heart Association, yes. Okay, so you're talking about making small little changes, right? A, a lot of change, uh, small changes will make the most difference going forward. You know, if, you, if you're going to make some changes in life, small changes are the way to start uh, before you move on to bigger changes. But yes, uh, for your health, absolutely, make some ch small changes. Okay, so that means maybe you run in the 5K in the morning and then maybe you can have that pie eating contest? That's absolutely true. I mean, if you can burn off the calories before, uh, afterwards and or before even, but in general, yes, moving more, eating healthier, absolutely uh, important going forward for the future. Okay, and I have to ask this one because um, my husband Trevor and I get in this argument all the time. How often should you have red meat during the week? I would say no more than once, maybe twice, if you're pushing it for special week, birthday week, maybe. Okay, okay, I love that. So people can show up, it's free, it's fun to come, and check it out. You guys will be here at the crack of dawn, but what time do the vendors start opening? Because then you can get the food and all that. Yeah, so the, the run starts really early at 6.45, but yes, the, the festival itself starts at 8, and the food court will be open at 8, the beer garden at 8.30, and the vendors will be ready for action really early. In the morning, don't tell Dr. Ash that. 8.30 in the morning, oh boy, okay, all right, you guys, it'll be such a fun event going on this Sunday up here in Vista. Back over to you guys. They just don't get enough of their strawberries, do they? All day long. They're so tasty. <laughs> they are tasty. So that is, a fun, that yeah. is a fun time up there. All right. Thanks very much, Ellen. Thanks, Ellen. <laughs> One park